Hi. Right. Okay, we can do this question. I actually had to do, restart again because my um, uh, storage on iPhone just stopped. So let's read quickly. A student does an experiment to determine the percentage of copper in alloy. So the student has 985 milligrams of alloy with concentrated nitric acid to form a solution. All copper of the alloy reacts to form aqueous copper 2 ions. Pours the solution to volumetric flask, makes up the volume up to 250 with distilled water, shakes the flask, transfers 25 of the solution to conical flask, and adds excess potassium iodide. <clears throat> Use exactly 9.9 cm cube of 0.08 mol with cube sodium thiosulfate solution reacts with iodine, uh, all the iodine produced. The equations is shown here. Okay, so how did I do that? <coughs> Start first of all, calculate the moles of thiosulfate here, which is 0 0.08 times 9 divided by 1000, which gives you 7 point times 10 minus 4 moles of thiosulfate. Then if you look at this ratio here, 2 moles to 1 mole, so moles of iodine is half. I just put here as a half. You can work it out. Um, and then therefore, because it's half, you go iodine here, to here is double. So moles of copper and thiosulfate is exactly the same. So moles of copper in alloy is this amount of moles in 25, okay? Then you multiply by 10 because the moles in 2050. So it'll be that times 10, which gives you 7.2 times 10 minus 3 moles in 2050 solution. Then you take 7.2 times 10 minus 3 times by molar mass of copper. Which is 63.5 it gives you the grams which is 0 0.4572 grams now you got to do the percentage uh, mass in the alloy so you got it 985 here so you got 0 0.4572 divided by you got to change that for grams so that's going to be 0 0.985 times 100 and that will give you 46.4%. So you have to answer in three decimal places, uh, three sig figs in here, because that's the three sig figs everywhere else here, okay? Um, so that's your three sig figs in there. I hope that was helpful for you. Thank you. Right, so just two ways why the student could reduce the percentage uncertainty in the measurements of the volume of sodium thiosulfate. So, so you want to reduce, not increase, okay? So you want to reduce the percentage uncertainty so make it smaller so you have to increase the amount of your mass of whatever you have using the same apparatus as the experiment so to, first thing you do you can use more alloy so if you say use more alloy so increase the mass second uh, lower the mass of thiosulfate thiosulfate to make the solution so lower the mass of S2O3 to minus um, to make solution. So you make it more dilute solution. Okay? So you weigh you weigh less than that. So therefore you get you can either of them would work, will change for uncertainty. State the role of iodine uh, in the reaction with th sodium thiosulfate. The role for iodine, which I haven't got it here anymore, where is it? Um here is um, the role for iodine thiosulfate is oxidizing agent because um, the copper gets reduced. Okay, so it's oxidizing agent. Copper two plus iron. So let's have a look at copper two plus iron. So it's copper with less two electrons. Copper has got 29, so it's going to be 27. It's going to be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6 makes 10, 3s2, 3p6. Then you got 4s2 if it was a full copper. You lose those two. And then you got 3d9. Um, 3d9 there. Because the whole copper, you will have 4s2 there, isn't it? So you remove that, you get 3d9. Now, actually, the whole copper has got 4s1. So the check. copper here, the, the whole copper will have uh, 4s1, and then you go 3d10, because it's a full outer shell. So it loses 2, loses 4s1, and loses 1 from the D, D sub shell there. Okay? Um, 
copper iodide is a white solid except for copper i2 iodide is white because it's got, it can't form colorless compound okay um hold on sorry i just made a mistake there hold on just to clarify this question again um it says here yeah, state the role of uh, of iodine is reactor thiosulfate um i said something correct so it'll be like thiosulfate plus iodine so iodine is zero goes to minus one so iodine is reduced so therefore iodine is oxidizing agent okay all right what i meant to say is that um, it's a wet solid because it's got a full 3d subshell subshell okay so if you look at the copper itself it's going to be 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 4s1 and 3d10 so he hasn't got incomplete uh this subshell so he can't form colors it can't form color compounds okay um and also um because it cannot form color compounds because it cannot absorb cannot absorb visible light okay so therefore there's no color observing there right question 6.6 .6, iodine vaporize easily calculate the volume in centimeters cube of five grams of iodine vapor that occupies 185 cent centigrades of 100 kpa gas constant is this one here so give your answer three six fix okay so what first we do we got pv and rt we need no moles okay we know grams and we know iodine is 126.9 so you add that at two it gives you i think it gives you 100 uh, 253.8 for that one there so the answer will be 0 0.0197 moles okay so once you got the moles you go to this equation rearrange to find volume so rearrange will be v equals nrt divided by p and then you got replace 0 0.01 moles 197 moles or times r which is 8.31 times 458 now the temperature has to be changed for kelvin so 458 is kelvin because i gave you 130 185 you add 273 to it and pressure yes they give you 100 you got to change for pa so you got to multiply by a thousand so you put it on there there you put divide by 100,000 then the volume you get is in meters cube so you got to multiply that by a thousand and multiply again by a thousand okay and then it will give you 750 centimeters cube because it's three sig figs so you can put 700 okay that's the answer to your question um